so hi team uh, hello hello everyone so today we will be understanding how can we assign uh, our assignment group based on category and sub category values and we can dynamically assign uh, to a specific assignment group based on category and sub uh, and sub category of the fields into our custom table so for this we have created a custom table u student case task table where we are having a category fields and we are having a subcategory fields we will be same way we will be behaving this mimic same as service now has provided us out of the box fields for assignment group as well let's say if i select an internal application how this out how out of the box data lookup rule the service now has prepared from scratch so that we so that based on this combination we got an assignment group as ecab approval and we use it into our day to day life you know uh, so that it help us to understand how things works behind the scene so this is one of the you know prominent data lookup rules which is being given by service now which is assignment lookup on incident table and we will be preparing this similar data lookup and configuring this data lookup for our custom table and how we can create a date a custom data lookup from uh, from scratch for our custom table so today we will be we will be exploring that so stay tuned we will be understanding all the components of data lookup rules all the components of how we can configure each uh, each uh, mappings for assignment group as well so let's get started now step 1 what we have to do here is we have to navigate to we have to create a new table so we will go to tables so i will go to tables i will, will go to tables again create a new now i will name this table as as a uh, as assign assignment group student lookup okay so i will name something like this student lookup the name will get auto populated and i will use an extends table it will extends table a data lookup matcher rules table which is a dl matcher table uh, please make sure this is one of the most compulsory um, uh, compulsory rule that we need we need to do this i will add mobile to module as uh, assignment group lookup or we can just add module to you know our one of my student registration form which i have created so i will just add this mo uh, module to there now i will just save this form uh, let's ignore this for as of now now we have got a new data lookup matcher fields that we can see it on our form now let's create three fields so first field would be so let me use form designer for for creating three fields so i will just go to uh, go to design form once i am at the form designer i will just remove this i will go to field types i will create a choice type field i will add it here i will add another choice type field and i will add a reference field so, this choice type field will be category i will remove those choices now i will have sub category the reason to do this is that this makes my development quite faster so i can uh, implement things faster on this form i will use a sub category so I this is my sub category i will removing all this uh, redundant choice fields i will have got a reference field i will configure this reference field 
I will attach this reference field with assignment group. So I will say that you underscore assignment underscore group. I will use reference table as sys user group table. And that's all. And then I will submit the form. Once the changes get implemented, I will refresh my dictionary entries and I will close my form designer. I have got three fields created, category, subcategory and assignment group. The moment I will see the category field, we will see the subcategory and we will see the assignment group. I want to inherit the category fields from our student case table, same subcategory fields from our student case task table. So let's do it. I will go to category. I will go to choice list specification. I will go to advanced view. So let it get loaded. Once we are at the advanced view, I will use a ch choice choice table. So the table would be student case task table. And my choice field for this will be category. I will be inheriting this category fields into uh, from category field uh, choices into this category field on our custom data lookup table, which is inheriting DL match it table. So I will just update this form. Similar, I will go to subcategory. I will go to advanced view. Once I am at the advanced view, I will go to ref I will go to reference uh, choice list specification drop down with none choice list and I will say that my choice list will be coming from student case task and I will map my choice field to subcategory on that table click on update now I will click on update once I will click on update What I will do, I will go to assignment. I will go to um, our form. Let me click on show form. I can see all those fields and I can see the category fields. Now let's do one by one mapping for our category fields. I want that all software related category as, uh, assignment should be done to software assignment group. Hardware should be navigated to hardware assignment group. Network should be navigated to network assignment group. Database to the database team. And inquiry helps to the uh, ECAB or some other group that we want. So I will just go to inquiry. When I, there is inquiry, there is antivirus. I will go here. I will search for star help. I will assign this to help desk. I will save this form. Once I have an antivirus, I will have email and I will, you know, have some, let's have some other for this. Let's have ECAB approval and I will just go to insert and stay. For again, for software section, I will be using SAS and SAS I will be assigning it to software. And I will do insert and stay. Similarly, software with operating system will be assigned to software team. I will do insert and stay. I say, okay, now I will have hardware. Hardware assigned to CPU. I will do, I will work on hardware. I will assign this to hardware. I will really navigate to insert and stay. I will use disk. And I, let me assign this to some other hardware groups, which we might have. Let assign this disk to database Atlanta. I will use this insert and stay. Again, I have got category as network. When my category is network candidate DHCP, I will assign this to network group. I will go to here star network. So I will go to network cap managers and I will apply to insert and stay. 
once network is being selected i will go to database i will go to dns and i will use network cap manager and i in, instead i will assign this to network okay not dns i would say once uh, we have got database we have got dns got attached now for database i will be going to sql and i will be assigning this to database group now once database group is done i will go here insert and stay now i will assign this to elastic db i will go to uh, i will search for again database team and i will assign this to database san diego and i will click on insert and stay a final insert and stay to over list now let's look up the mapping so as we all know from the uh, url table name underscore list dot dual we will navigate it to the our list view so you see when we have and let me uh, rearrange our list i will bring my order down the lane i will remove my uh, i will keep my active here okay and i will have my assignment group category category subcategory and assignment group pattern here now if i have this category when my hardware disk and database are planned. now what you have to do next step is to have order defined for this or for every field and that's the most important field uh, because some many a times that our lookup is uh, is not working so the best part is to start you start checking for the order fields so we meet we need to make sure that this order fields are properly aligned uh, so right now i will be adding a random order uh, from increasing order like say 100 200 300 400 you can define on your own by ha having a order navigated to the uh, form view of the uh, form while inserting these records i will go to 900 i will go to 1000 so, okay i will may not the 900 now let's have this here so when there will be hardware then this it should be database atlanta before you know acting into our core form we might have to go to rules within rules we have got data lookup definitions i will click on data lookup definitions on data lookup definitions i will go to new i will go to data lookup rule i will select my source table as student case task table that this is my source table And my match table should be student. Uh, I what what was my match table? Assignment group student lookup. Assignment group student lookup. And my where is student case assignment rules. I will have my student case assignment rules, and I will click on run on update as well. So let me save this form. The moment I save this form, I will get few related list here. Matcher field definitions and setter field definitions. I will go to matcher field definitions. I will click on new. I will go to uh, source table field. From source table field, I will select category. So I will go to category. I will go to matcher table. Uh, field from matcher table it should match to category and i will submit this now i will click on new i will source table field let me select as subcategory which we have let's check for subcategory s s s s s we got it here matcher field definition we will check the subcategory from here I will click on submit. So these are my matchers. So it means that it this matches category and subcategory match. And then we will be having a setter field. So what, what field will be getting settled, which means assignment group. So I will go here. I will click on new. 
I will go to source table field. From source table table, I should assign this to assignment group. Matcher table field, I will assign this to assignment group and always replace as check true and I will click on submit. When this setup is done, now testing time. Okay, so now let me go to create student form. I will reload the form. Now let me select one of the rules. Let's say when my category is hardware, subcategory is this, it should assign to database Atlanta. So we go category is hardware, subcategory is disk. It should assign this to database Atlanta. So it got assigned to database Atlanta. Okay. So when my category is software, subcategory is operating system, it should get assigned to software. And also please to make sure that you are having this order field aligned, not every, and don't make sure that all order fields are in increasing or decreasing order and they should are they should not be same. Let's say if you put here 100 or it should put here 100, this table might, you know, uh, work very inappropriate. It might not work. It, it might not load the assignment group. This is my personal observation. But as of now, this is how you have to check for the orders. This is for the assignment group subcategory and category so let us check for inquiry help email and is it for ecab approval or not so i click on inquiry i will get called uh check for email and it should assign this to ecab approval email and i will just tick so it get assigned to ecab approval hence this is how we will be we have explored today how to create our custom lookup Let's say tomorrow your client comes and say that, okay, no, we need to add few more rules. So now you can go to this table, create a new. I say that, okay, for network, not let's have something. Let's something we have that um, which we have missed. We might have missed and try to configure those. Hardware with disk, hardware with CPU, network with DSCP and network. We have missed network. Okay, let's see. How much network do we have? Okay, we do have only one network. Okay, cool. So let's add a network plus DNS. I guess that is that got missed. I will go to new. I will go to here. I will go to network. I will go to DNS. And the requirement come here is that when you have category as network, subcategory as DNS. And so you have to assign this to some other network group. And let's search for that network group which should be ATF test group network. And I will submit this form. And I will make sure that it should get one order. So let's have an order defined as 150 here. Okay, no problem. And let's try to test it now. Let me reload the form. And let's check. When we have a network, we have a DNS, it should assign to. So let's say I go to network. I go to DNS, it will assign to ATF test group network. And that's how my this task for creating a custom data lookup based on category and uh, subcategory. Even you can add few other fields as well. What if we have a walk in as well, uh, adding contact type as a matcher rule. So if I tried, if we explore our incident matcher rule, so I will just go to data lookup rule and i will say check for the incident assignment lookup so for incident also we we have couple of matches that out of the box we get even you can add those matches as well for example subcategory cmdb location category those matches as well and that's all for today please subscribe to my channel to get the latest update of all my videos hence uh Let's see you in next class with some new example and better use cases. Thank you, everyone.